everyone, I'm Krista, shamanic practitioner as well as teacher of shamanic classes and welcome to my video talking about how to manifest what you want in your life. Now this is a very important topic and in this video I would like to talk about how to manifest what you want in your life the shamanic way, which is a little bit different than maybe other manifestation methods out there. So when we think about manifesting what we want, that could be manifesting more money, uh, manifesting prosperity, manifesting abundance, manifesting a good group of friends, manifesting the dream job, manifesting a beautiful home to live in, manifesting a car, all of these things that we want. Now, when we look at manifesting these beautiful things of what we would like to have, do and achieve, we need to differentiate if that is coming from the ego or coming from the heart. So for instance, to give an example, let's say I would like to manifest a new car. And let's say uh, I want that car to be a Lamborghini, you know, a bright red, flashy Lamborghini. Now, when we think about manifesting, what is my motivation for manifesting that vehicle? See, this is very important. It's really important to get clear on that before you manifest anything. What is your motivation for manifesting that thing that you want? So in this example, let's say I want to manifest a Lamborghini. Okay, what could be my motivation? If that is motivation to have social status, to impress other people, to impress my friends or my family or my coworkers, to make me feel important because I have this, you know, flashy, expensive car. Well, okay, that motivation is coming from the ego. And when we try to manifest what we want coming from the ego, it doesn't go so well. It's harder to manifest what you want. It will fall apart, uh, especially when it's that ego-driven desire. It doesn't work so well to manifest from the ego. It will be harder to manifest. There will be more obstacles and challenges that can show up along the way as you're trying to manifest what you want. Okay, It will fall apart. It's more challenging to manifest from the place of the ego. Is it possible to manifest things from the place of the ego? Yes, but you would be working very hard to do it. And like I said, that more obstacles, challenges can show up along the way. Things can fall apart. It just doesn't come together in a good way as it should. But manifesting from the heart center, manifesting from your heart is very different energy vibration. That one, when you manifest from the place of your heart, it's heart centered. It's more in harmony is more in balance, the manifestation will go better. So if I come back to that first example of wanting to manifest a car, okay, if I come from heart-centered manifestation, my heart-centered motivation behind it is very different than ego-based motivation. So for instance, heart-based motivation would be, well, what would the car allow me to do? The car would allow me to go to work and come back home again. The car would allow me to have beautiful road trips where I can go to different places and have fun adventures. Maybe I can do a camping trip in the forest or go to different cities I haven't been to. The car would help me to explore these new places and have fun adventures. Maybe I need the car to haul different things back and forth and I need space to do that. So I need a vehicle that will allow me to do that. Maybe I'm moving uh, boxes back and forth from home to my workplace. Maybe I also would like to have that car because then I can deliver uh, home cooked meals to people in my city that are in need of food and I can drop it off to them. I couldn't do that so easily on foot, but I could outreach more people if I had the car because I can load all of that in the car and drive around and drop it off. That's heart-based motivation. So when I come from that heart-based motivation to manifest something that I would like to manifest, it goes so much better. It flows better. The universe will be working more closely on my behalf to help me manifest these things. So I could manifest a Lamborghini to do that, or I could manifest a Toyota, or I could manifest an SUV or a four-door sedan or smart car, <laughs> whatever the case may be. But I'm coming now from a heart-based motivation practice 
to manifest that. It will go so much better. There will be less obstacles, less challenges on the way. It will go so much better. So that's the first step. When you want to manifest anything, the first step is to think about, okay, what it is that you want to manifest? Okay, get clear on that and be specific because the universe likes specifics. So if you want to manifest something, be specific on what that is. Then the second part to that is what is your motivating factor behind that? Is it ego-based motivation or is it heart-based motivation? Check in with yourself. Be honest with yourself because if it's ego-based motivation, then you can shift that and you can shift that around so that it becomes heart centered motivation okay then once you're clear on that then you can get more deeper into manifesting that so to manifest that the shamanic way shamans in traditional cultures would dream things into being so being able to dream what you want to manifest into being and they would do that through daydreams so not so much through nighttime dreams but through their daydreams using their imagination to dream that into being and once you are really clear on what it is that you want and you're clear on the heart centered motivation behind it then you can dream it into being and to do that there is a method to do that, a shamanic method to do that. So I want to walk you through an example of how to do that and what that looks like. So using a concrete example is a lot easier. Okay, so let's say I want to manifest a trip to Egypt because I've never been there. And let's say Egypt really speaks to me. So that is what I want to do. I want to travel to Egypt. And now I want to check in with myself uh, to see the motivating factor behind it. Is it ego-based or heart-based? So ego-based would be like, I want to travel to Egypt because then I get bragging rights. I can brag to my friends about, you know, having traveled there or that I've got an upcoming trip to there. Maybe it's a social status thing. Okay, that's ego-based motiva motivation. So to shift into heart-based motivation, I can say, okay, you know, this trip to Egypt, heart-based motivation would be I get to travel to a new place, to be immersed in a new culture, to meet fabulous and wonderful people there, to also taste the cuisine there. Maybe I'm interested in going to archaeological sites. Maybe I want to see the Great Pyramids, okay? Maybe I want to go to other archaeological sites that are lesser known to learn about the ancient culture of Egypt to learn about that culture, to be enriched in that culture, to expand my horizons and just to be there, to sense the energy there. Maybe also going to a marketplace in Egypt to be in a marketplace, to be with other people, to interact with them, to socialize with them, to get to know them, right? Okay, to be maybe going to a musical performance, to listen to the music, maybe also uh, listening to traditional music played on traditional instruments and immersing myself in that culture. And how wonderful would that feel? So that's more heart based. It's like that heart to heart connection with the land there, with the country, with the culture, with the people, with sacred sites, having that beautiful heart to heart connection to enrich my life as well as traveling there bringing you know my good energy there too to enrich the interactions that I have with others there to connect that's heart-based okay so now that we have that clear how would I manifest a trip to Egypt let's say in this example I don't have enough money to pay for the trip so part of that is manifesting the money that I need to have to pay for the trip, to pay for the airline ticket, to pay for accommodation, to pay for food while I'm there, and also maybe some souvenirs I want to buy. Okay, so that's part of getting clear on that. So I would need the money to put into that. But also let's take it one step further to be specific because the universe likes specifics. So maybe you have taken trips that haven't gone so well. Maybe, uh, you know, you missed your connecting flight and you didn't get to where you needed to go on time. Time, right so we want to manifest you know a trip I would like to manifest the trip of it going well that everything falls into place in a good way I'm able to connect to my connecting flights I'm able to get that on time I'm able to get there on time so we want things to flow like clockwork everything flowing in a good way safe 
healthy, happy, and protected travels. I also want to manifest that as part of the trip. So we're being specific now. And also, maybe I want to manifest going to certain uh, places, certain archaeological sites that I would like to see, certain cities that I want to see, maybe villages. Okay, so that will be part of that. Okay, so once we're clear on that, to manifest it the shamanic way, now the next step is to dream that into being. Well, how do we do that? So this works with your power of daydreams your powers of imagination and trying to engage all of your five senses as much as you can sight hearing taste touch smell and to imagine that and combine it with the feeling of feeling that so for instance how i would do that is i could sit quietly with my eyes closed and I can imagine daydream myself to be in Egypt so I can start with you know daydreaming putting the trip together okay uh, you know planning the trip finding the the good airline uh flight on the good airline that's a good price okay so I can m imagine that I see myself searching online like I have my eyes closed I'm visualizing myself going online finding the good plane ticket at a good price and then engaging my five senses, seeing myself doing that, hearing myself typing on the keyboard as I'm entering into the information to buy the flight, okay? Also engaging as much as I can the feeling of how good it feels to be able to then book that ticket, okay? So that's engaging uh, more of my five senses. Okay, so another example of that is placing myself at Egypt. So let's just say for this portion of the example that I'm placing myself, daydreaming myself at the Great Pyramids because that's something that we can all relate to. So I can close my eyes and daydream myself there. Oh, what would it be like to be at the Great Pyramids, to see them? for myself, to be immersed in the beautiful healing energy of that place, to be with the people there. So I start to see myself there. Then I take it further. I start to see everything around. What do the colors of the stones look like of the pyramid, the color of the ground? What do the people look like there that I might encounter? So I start to visualize that. Then I take it one step further. With my eyes closed, I start tuning into the sounds. What would it sound like to be there? What are the sounds? The sounds of the earth beneath my feet as I'm walking around there, hearing different languages spoken. What does that sound like? Do I hear the wind? Do I hear cars? Do I hear birds? Do I hear camels? The sound of camels. So I start to engage my sense of hearing. And then I close my eyes again. And then I start to engage the sense of smell. What does it smell like there? What does the earth smell like? Do I smell maybe some perfumes if someone is walking by me? Do I smell the scent of food? Maybe someone is eating nearby me and I'm smelling the food. What does it smell like to be there? Okay, so I start engaging my sense of smell and imagining, daydreaming what it would smell like to be in that environment, okay? Right? Um, okay, so the next one, what does it feel like to be there? So I engage my sense of touch. So closing my eyes, I engage my sense of touch. Maybe I'm petting a camel. Maybe I'm touching the earth and feeling what the earth feels like. Is it smooth? Is it rough? Am I touching sand? What does that feel like my, through my sense of touch? So I start to engage my sense of touch. Then the last one, which, you know, might not be as obvious, is taste, okay? So what does it taste like? So I can close my eyes and daydream that. What does it taste like to be in that place? So I can imagine, sense, and feel the taste. What does the air taste like on my tongue? So I could involve taste like that, engage that sense of taste like that. Or I could also picture myself in a marketplace in Egypt and go through that. What does the food taste like that I'm eating? It's like, what are those exotic spices? Does something taste sweet? Maybe I'm eating a dessert. Mm, what does that taste like to me? I could also engage the sense of feeling. What does that food taste like on my tongue? What are the sounds of the marketplace? What does it feel like as I am holding a piece of fruit? 
What does the marketplace sound like? Are there different languages spoken? Are people laughing? Do I hear children? Right? So I'm gauging all my five senses going through that. Okay? But now, when you're daydreaming these places, okay, let's say I'm daydreaming these places in Egypt, different places, the pyramids, marketplace, maybe a different place that I go to there. Now I need to mix that with feeling. Because it's not enough just to daydream through the five senses, but now you need to add the feeling with it. Okay, so if I come back to the pyramids, okay, I have my eyes closed, I'm daydreaming myself there with the sights, the sounds, what I'm feeling, what I'm tasting, okay, now I mix it with feeling. Feeling the sense of fulfillment, of joy, of wonder, of curiosity, of being in that place. It's like, oh, it feels so good to be here. I'm so joyful. I feel grateful that I'm in this place to experience all of the beauty of this country, this culture, the people, the beautiful people, the beautiful sights, smells, sounds, tastes of this beautiful place. And oh, I just love that. Now I'm feeling that sense of love. I just love being here. I just love these people. I just love this culture. I love this food. I'm so grateful to be here. I feel so joyful. I feel a sense of awe, curiosity, wonder. So when you mix it with the feeling, now you've just amplified the powers of manifestation. Okay? So now when you do that active daydreaming, okay, and then add the feeling into it. Now what's going to happen is you're going to start to align with that goal that you would like to manifest, or you're going to align with it very deeply in a beautiful, balanced, and harmonious way, which makes it easier to manifest that. And then what's going to happen is the universe is going to conspire in a good way on your behalf to help you to make that happen. So to, in this example, to help make that trip to Egypt happen. So now the next step is to take action. I can't just sit on my couch and hope that a plane ticket falls from my ceiling into my lap and I've got a plane ticket there to Egypt. Okay, I need to start taking action. Even small action, when I start to take the action to manifest this, the universe is going to then conspire in a good way on my behalf to make it happen. Okay, so for instance, maybe the first step is I start to research how much plane tickets are. I start to research the places I want to go in Egypt. What archaeological sites would I like to see? Where would I like to stay? What cities would I like to visit? What marketplaces would I like to visit? Okay, I start doing research. Even taking that action, then the universe is going to start to then create synchronicities for me, helping me to manifest that. So for instance, let's say I start doing the research on the trip. And then all of a sudden, two days later, I'm in a coffee shop and someone says, oh, is this seat taken? And I say, no. And they sit down with me because the coffee shop is crowded and that's the last seat. And lo and behold, it's someone who was born in Egypt, lived in Egypt, and now is living in my country and so we start talking and I find out that this person is from Egypt and I'm like you know what I really want to travel to Egypt I've never been there you know I'm thinking about traveling there I'd like to create a trip there and then we start talking about it then I start getting information of what to do what to see where to go and this beautiful person just showed up as a beautiful synchronicity there helping me to create my trip Okay, and then let's say, you know, uh, a couple days after that, you know, as I'm taking action, you know, to create this trip, all of a sudden, I have money come to me unexpectedly, maybe I get a refund in my taxes that I didn't expect. Okay, and that money comes to me, maybe I get a raise in my work, and I get some extra money that way. Maybe someone offers me a side job, hey, you know, how about uh, for an afternoon, you know, could you help me paint this house, and I'll pay you, you know, a certain amount of money for that. <gasps> okay, right away, that money is coming to me, that's helping me to manifest my trip. So then that goes towards my trip right? See, this is how the universe will start to bring you opportunities to manifest what you want, but you need to take the action, okay? So taking the action, then the universe will support you in that, will align you to that, okay? So this is how it works. And then also, when you're doing this, it's important to keep up every day, putting some energy every day towards manifesting what you want. So every day, I would take some action that works towards manifesting this trip. So 
that could be doing my research. Maybe every day I research something new, or maybe I watch a documentary on Egypt to learn more about it and more about the history, its people, the culture. Okay, maybe I start doing that. Maybe I start listening to some music, traditional music uh, from Egypt on beautiful instruments. I start, you know, doing that. Maybe I start looking at some recipes of traditional uh, cuisine and I start cooking that at home. Okay, and I start learning about that. So even those types of actions every day builds up momentum for manifestation. So in the shamanic world, the shamans would do their practices every day. So shamans would also work with power objects to help manifest things. So a power object can be basically any object that you hold special. So it could be a crystal, okay, crystal or gemstone, it could be a shell, it could be a beautiful feather like this, okay, mm -hmm. anything like that. And to build up momentum for manifestation, I could work with this power object. So I could hold the crystal, or if I'm working with a feather, I could hold the feather, okay? And I could do my daily daydreaming, okay? This becomes my power object. I daydream, I put myself in Egypt, okay? I do this every day, even if it's five minutes, that's all it takes. I don't have to do this for hours. And going through that process of daydreaming, engaging all my five senses and combining it with the feeling. So maybe, one day I visualize myself at the pyramids. On day two, I work with this as my power object to help me connect, okay? And then I visualize myself in a beautiful marketplace in Egypt. Maybe the next day I visualize myself doing a boat trip down the Nile, okay? So every day I do my daydreaming and I engage my five senses, mix it with the feeling. And then every day I take one small action towards making that happen and the universe will conspire in a good way on my behalf to bring me synchronicities people the money i need opportunities i need to make that trip happen and it will flow so much better so that is how it works okay so i hope you have enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching if you would like to go deeper into the wonderful world of shamanic healing i do offer shamanic healing sessions as well as i teach online shamanic healing classes uh, live and interactive on zoom so to book a session you can visit my website shamanicspirit.ca you can also visit that same website to see my class schedule so I would love to also hear from you. What are some things that you would like to manifest in your life? What goals do you have? Please write those in the comments below. I think it's important to share these, these manifestation goals with other people and your intentions of what you would like to manifest so that we can all come together to help create that for each other. So please, in the comments, write below. What is it that you would like to manifest in your life? What would you like to be, do, or have? Please write that and let's open it up for a discussion. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. May you enjoy this beautiful day and lots of light, love, and blessings to you.